In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this glass looking profile card with this little hover effects. And it is also responsive like this. So let's get into it. So in the project folder, I have this background image and this profile image that we're gonna use. You can find the links in the description and a HTML file with the boilerplate, a CSS file, just reset some margin and padding. And let's open this up with live server. So if you look at the finished version, we basically have three parts. So this first part, this is like an information part with the image at the top, name and the job title and this numbers posts, followers, this is like a, another section and we have two buttons so let's create a container first so for this first part we are going to create a info box and inside at the very top we are going to have this image and right under it we are going to create another box for the information, let's create a h2 for the name and a paragraph tag for the job title. And that is pretty much it for the first box. So we created this part. Let's see how it looks. Looks like this now. And the second part, this is basically a grid and we're gonna need a box for that too. Let's say numbers grid. And as you can see, we have three boxes, three vertical boxes like this. So we are going to create three boxes and each one has going to have two paragraph tags for the information inside. Say 250, 200 and 30 So when we write the CSS we are going to make this a grid and each box Let me create some space So this each box Is gonna look like this they are going to be columns vertical columns like this and Finally for the buttons we are gonna have another box We're gonna create two buttons so first one follow, second one message, let's give them classes too. And let's see how it looks, looks like this now. So we are done with the HTML, so let's style it. So first let's quickly make this image smaller, otherwise we're not going to be able to see anything. And we are going to make this image circular with border radius 50% and let's also give it a small border with the cursor pointer so cursor pointer is when you hover over this the cursor is going to be turned into this one it means that this is something clickable and let's center everything in the middle we're gonna make the body a flex box and we're gonna use align item center and justify content center to bring everything into the middle so as you can see it is at the top we centered it horizontally but not vertically yet because this body doesn't have a height so if we make this body cover the whole page with minimum height 100 vh it is gonna bring everything into the middle and let's also set the background image I'm gonna say no repeat and center and we're gonna make it cover the page with background size cover and the profile card we're gonna make it a flex box too to center everything in the middle and we're gonna change the flex direction because everything's side by side right now and we want them to be on top of each other and we're gonna say flex direction column to bring everything on top of each other and as you can see this 
texts are not aligned on one line and we are going to align them by using text aligned center and everything's in the center now and to create some space between them we are going to use gap let's make it 3 em a little padding on the top and the bottom and on the sides a little border radius and let's create that glass effect i'm going to copy and paste some colors you can pause the video and type down the same and backdrop filter so this is basically how we create that blur effect backdrop filter blur you're gonna use 20 pixels you can go higher but it's gonna look weird like if you make it 50 it doesn't look good so let's stick to 20 and we're also gonna have a little border and we are going to make the text white and there you go so now we are going to make this grid as i said so this numbers grid we're gonna say display grid and we're gonna use grid template columns repeat 3 and 1 fr so this means create three columns inside this numbers grid and we already have three boxes so it's easy and one fr fr means fraction and when you say one fr each of these boxes are taking the same space inside this box and we're gonna put a little space between them two there you go it looks fine and for the buttons first we are gonna style that box gonna make it display flex 2 center everything and we're gonna put a little space between so the buttons padding is going to be 12 to 25 so we have 12 pixels of space at the top and the bottom and 25 on the sides and let's also increase the font size to 16 a little border radius a little space at the bottom cursor pointer and transition for the hover effect and we also need to create this transparent border so the first one is gonna have white background and text is going to be black and when you hover over it gonna make the background transparent gonna create a white border and text color is going to be white so let's see if it's working it works fine and the other one is gonna be the opposite gonna make the background color transparent and color white and border 2 pixel solid white and when you hover over it you can change the background to white and text color to black so let's see if it's working there you go and let's also change the font weight in these boxes so in the boxes we have two paragraphs right and I want to change the first ones, increase the boldness of the first ones. But if I just say P, it is going to change every paragraph tag. And to select the first ones, we're going to say first child. And now if I increase this to 800, only the first elements are going to change same with the others I'm gonna say last child to give them font weight 400 and just lower the opacity a little bit and this information box we are going to create some space between these elements so let's say info box 
and center everything and change the flex direction to column and let's create some little space at the very top and inside the info box we are going to do the same I'm going to make it a flex box change the flex direction to column I'm going to align the text in the center and to create some space between this two text and the image I'm going to say margin top 1.5 em there you go we are done with the styling so let's make it responsive so this responsiveness section is going to be really short so when you hit 900 pixels in the viewport we are going to change the numbers grid to just one column like this so if you remember we made this three columns so if you look at the finished version we have three columns side by side and if you change this to one like this they are going to be on top of each other because we don't have three columns anymore we just have one and we're going to make the buttons just a little smaller 12 to 20 going to decrease the font size to 14 border radius is going to be the same cursor pointer border is going to be the same and transition so let's see if this is working now so look at this number here if we hit 900 pixels it is going to change like this So that is it, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.